Okay, so we've talked about principle number one, define the job in detail. We talked about principle number two, get the right resources involved. And now we're going to talk about WordPress productivity management principle number three, which is break the job down. Now what's really fascinating about this is that John Keane developed these principles back in the 80s. And one of the things he discovered is that by breaking the job down into little bitty chunks and having an approval process for each one of those chunks helped not only to keep the project on schedule, but if it got off schedule, you always knew where you were within about a two week time period. And that's because he had this thing called the 80 hour rule. So as we developed software, we had to have a deliverable every 80 hours. And that was 80 man hours, not necessarily two weeks, but it generally came out to two or three weeks. So we always knew where we were in the project timeline in terms of being on time or ahead of schedule or behind schedule. The other thing that it helps you to do is to discover unknown requirements as you go. For example, if you go and try to define the entire project without breaking this down into little bits and pieces, you're going to find so many changes along the way that it's going to be a veritable nightmare. But if you have an approval of each little section as you go along and when you discover a requirement, you've got a process in place to add that requirement to your, to your definition, then you save yourself a lot of headache on the back end. So that's why we break the job down. Now we break it down into what we call a work breakdown structure or a project plan. I just use an Excel spreadsheet. I don't go to all the fancy schmancy deal about using a project management piece of software because I don't have a large team. If you have a large team, a piece of software like that might come in very handy, but I don't. So I just use a spreadsheet and I've been doing this for a long time too. <laughs> Okay, so a work breakdown structure is basically a list of the phases, activities, and tasks that you're going to carry out, and then for the project plan, you add dates to them. So if you break that work breakdown structure into little bitty pieces that then get approved, and those deliverables don't necessarily have to be client deliverables. They can be deliverables that just are you and your team do together, but at least you know this has got to be done, and then you can check it off your list and move on to the next piece. Now, within the complete WordPress project management roadmap that I'm developing, I will have several pre-made work breakdown structures for projects for like a new website or updating a website or moving a website from HTML, all of those sorts of things that have different tasks and activities depending on what those things are that need to be taken care of. So that's principle number three, break the job down. You don't have to break it into 80 hour increments. That of course might not make a lot of sense for a small WordPress project but it would make sense for a larger WordPress project. The point is break it down into small manageable chunks that you can get your client to approve and then you've got a basis for moving on to the next piece. And I'll explain more about that in the complete roadmap later on. Now we're gonna move on to principle number four, which is always the biggest one that people struggle with, estimate the time and cost. 